Played for her at Auburn is the acting head coach. Blanche was the, is the associate head coach right now. And we certainly hope Nell is feeling better. We know she's watching at home. Try to keep it calm, Nell. And here we go. North Carolina wearing what else but their Carolina blue. And one change in their starting lineup. Paulina Paris did not make the trip. Got dang inside with the miss. And there's the change for Georgia Tech as Aisha won. Avanez gets the start. Yeah, and that's a, a good look for Carolina. You have to be happy with that touchdown there for Gakdang. She's been great for them down low that she has to finish that. Turnover. There's Deja Keller. We talked about her in the open, wearing number 25. And Alyssa Usby tried to set a screen. Kelly kind of waved it off. They're trying to go inside for the second straight time. As you take a look at the starting lineup, Renaya Kelly, a very promising true freshman out of Hoover, Alabama, about two hours from Atlanta. She is getting her fifth start of the season. Kelly missed it to the right, and Tony Morgan very wisely let it go out of bounds. They're just going to see how the game flows, how it settles, see how they're being defended. Um, obviously play through their strengths, but not really looking to force any, force any issues early. And she very much respects this team. And the first shot from Aranaz, who is not known for being the scorer. So being able to have her come in and, and be aggressive will be good. Absolutely. And a team that has not scored a lot of points. Kelly now 0 for 2. And as usual, Alyssa Usby never stops moving. And North Carolina is empty on five trips. 0 for 5 from the floor. Tony Morgan, a sophomore from Tallahassee. A lot of younger players for this Georgia Tech team. Kara Dunn, that is a beautiful move. It really is. Her first step, you know, she kind of sized up Donarski, and when, by the time she took her first dribble, she was already on her hip. Donarski, now two of her last ten from three. But definitely th the three-point shooter for this yes. Carolina team. So Tech won't want to let her keep getting those wide-open looks, especially in transition. Augustin. Talk about Augusta messing up Nite. a game. Thank you. Augusta Naite. <laughs> she went 0 for 10 against Duke. And coming off the bench today, Kelly. That's her first. Kelly in her fourth year playing has another year if she wishes to come back. And that was fumbled. Yako is a freshman from Canada. So th that... Tradition is continuing here. Yeah. Well represented around the world. And Termis is coming off Morgan out there with the ball. Georgia Tech has had five trips without a point. That was a tough shot. Yeah, it is. I, I love that she kept her dribble even through the pressure and just got to her spot and pulled up and knocked it down. Must be couldn't handle the pattern. Sinks the mid-range. That's the first turnover for Carolina. Anunez got pulled up in the air. Janarski with a shot fake. Now Anaya Kelly dribbles into some trouble, but took the shot anyway. A shot she's definitely capable of making. She has a nice mid-range game. Also a true freshman. And here they are again, Deja Kelly. Georgia Tech did a good job of getting back, but Kelly just attacked him anyway. It's fun to see. Yeah, it's fun to see. Especially if you're a North Carolina fan. She had 23 points at Notre Dame, 27 points in their last game against Virginia, and she's off. 0 for 10 from the floor, did not score. Associate head coach, acting head coach today, said that this is a very confident kid. It is, and those free, free throws are, are good. You know, just to see the ball be able to go through the basket is going to be good for her to start off with those two made free throws. Yeah, two more points than she had in the whole game against Duke on Sunday. Usby creating. Has shied away from that as her career has gone on. And you know, Deja Kelly has got them off to a great start, but we know how important Usby is to this team. So definitely is going to look to get her established today too. Kayla Blackshear at the... And they don't shoot the best percentage. Is it a little over 67% as a team from the line? She is not a good free throw shooter. Perhaps the only thing she doesn't do well on a consistent basis. 
Nice drive. India Navar is the X factor for Carolina. If you ask me, I just love the pace and how hard she plays. Jazz Thomas, the president of the India Navar fan club, right? Now. Okay. <laughs> I am. I am. Stanford transfer, who is really starting to come into her own. She had a great game at Notre Dame. And that's a travel call. Good looks. They just haven't converted on all of them. And Carolina just shooting 38% from the floor. Georgia Tech at 40%. Carolina's hit now four straight field goals. Doing a good job hanging on to the ball. Johnson now trying to get around Navarre. They need a shot in the next seven seconds. Good defense by Usby. Just to get there and put her arms up. And now Usby runs the floor and gets the bucket. That's kind of like prototypical Alyssa Usby. The great defensive play, busts down the court and scores. Yeah. A lot of it is just matching up, communicating, you know, and shoot around. I heard them talk. All their coaches were saying, communicate, talk. When we talk, our energy matches us. And I think that's something that they're going to need to really hone into tonight. And you see their defensive ranks in the ACC defensively are not stellar. They're coming off a game in which they gave up 84 points to Duke. They usually do a good job of hanging on to the basketball. I love this action for Carolina. You saw Deja Kelly come off the double drag, and then they pop a speed. That DMV area is definitely a hub for some talented athletes, Absolutely. that's for sure. Thomas Harris unable to do anything offensively. Kelly, what a terrific give. Getting others involved, being unselfish. She really is, and you can see it. It's the pace that she's playing with. I, I love it. She's really off to a terrific start tonight. A little bit out of control there for Navarre. In for the nice defensive play, and Gakdang runs down and gets a layup. And now Gakdang. It's Usby who leads her team in assists this season, had a triple-double earlier this year. Yeah, she does. She does so many things on the floor well. Her versatility is both offensive and defensive, and she's been fun to watch this season. She was good last year, but you can see the improvement even into this season. And she is the best rebounder in the conference in conference game. Eric Bruton, Brandon Enterline, and Ashley Good, our officials tonight. Donarski, that's wide right. Going to some of their horns pitch action where they can post up Dunn behind the ball. They need to give her more of a look down there. Now Dunn gives them a second chance. Termis is going to, oh, I thought she was going to pull it. Instead, she gets it to Blackshear for a better shot. Biomecular bot engineering. Whew. Bio that's a mouthful, and it sounds like a workload. Yes. And that she... Morgan finally comes around to collect the basketball. Done. But Donarski is all over her. Just with the shot clock. She's got eight points for them off the bench. And Kara Dunn showing you why she is a special player. She can really do everything for this team. Shot clock winding down. She had a chance to maybe go get a layup for herself. But knowing her teammate is shooting it well from outside, she finds Termis in the corner. And she knocks it down. 8-0 Georgia Tech run. Been down by as many as 10 points. Dunn. Hunts it down. And four Georgia Tech players went back. Well, a nice run here. Georgia Tech was down by 10, and now they can tie it or go ahead. Morgan ties it. With the left and switched it to the right. Navarre can't hit, gets her own miss. Now North Carolina has gone cold. Credit Georgia Tech down by 10. Nothing seemed to be working, and they've tied the game. Termis missed everything. Bar at the free throw line gets it to roll in. And at Carmichael, women's hoops every Sunday right here on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. NC State trailing Miami tonight. Tony Morgan, no one's going to catch her. Two freshman number 20 for Georgia Tech and a whistle away from the action. Anya Poole. Rolls it in. So now played 101. Sydney Johnson, Boston University transfer. Gives it up to Termis. Now 
Now inside, Dunn has been kept in check. Called for the travel. Lavar with the drive and puts it in with the left hand. Johnson rolls off for Poole. Georgia Tech, good job of getting four back to stop transition. Carolina with the opportunity to go two for one if they score a little quicker. Baseline shot, nothing but the box. Yeah, Tiani Key has had some health woes, but she's definitely capable of hitting that 15 to 17 foot shot when she's able to stay healthy. She can do some good things for this Carolina team. Absolutely. A lower body injury, missed the first 10 games this year. That's only the seventh field goal she's made this season. Shot clock off. That's much needed for Kara Dunn. Hitting the three to end the first half. A seesaw first half for us. Carolina went up by as many as 10 before Georgia Tech came. Back. And we are underway in the second half. Georgia Tech, three and two in the conference. They only won four conference games all of last season. Laredo gets it over to Dunn, who hit a shot late in the second quarter that might get her going, but she's been defended very well by Donarski. On Adonez underneath, tipped away by Kelly. Four seconds to shoot. Morgan with the inbound. They need to get a shot off. Morgan does. Drew Iron, but only blue shirts. Deja Kelly head up, looking for options. Narski cut off. Kelly left open momentarily. That's all she needed. And that's she is the only player on either team in double figures. Dunn seeing a lot of attention as she's earned that respect this season. She's been playing fantastic. Starting to look like her old self in the last three games. Usby with the miss. Melissa only had four points in the first half. Nice patience. Great. Great run by Dunn. It's a nice pass, length of the floor to get it to her. And I love the patience. Yeah. Love the patience. You know the de Can you feel the defense? Know it's there coming and you just wait? I mean, pretty much when you're ahead of the, def uh, the, ahead of the defense like that, you know the only thing they could do is try to block the shot. Nice decision made by Dunn. Shot clock winding down for Usby. Had to do the fade away and got it to go in. Being aggressive and... North Carolina has them out just on the perimeter and have to force up a shot by Termis right there. Yeah, that's one of the it's a bad miss for Termis, who was so good in the first half with a points. Donarski finally gets it. You know, a Donarski who was a great three-point shooter for this team. Her first looks in the first half were primarily three-point shots. I think she was 0 for 3, and I love that decision to put her head down, get to the basket. Termis, very confident with that shot. It's a pretty shot. Yeah. A 6 6, that looks nice. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, you, you factor that in. A 6 6 player who is also a good three point shooter. Charlie defended by Blackshear. Now here's Usby. Another one for Kelly. Back rim, and then it went in cleanly. Same kind of day for Deja <laughs> Kelly. Three, Kelly with a couple of threes here. To start things off in the third quarter, we're halfway through it. Blackshear defended by Usby. Donarski, second bucket. It's a great shot fake, one dribble pull up. Simple basketball. Yep, simple and effective for Donarski. She hit the portal. Courtney Banghart jumped all over that opportunity. Beautiful shot by the, another freshman. Augusta Naite. She's smooth. She's, you know, coming off of pretty much of a, a, a tough shooting game against Duke where she didn't hit a field goal. As uh, us, Augusta Naite really has the opportunity to be a great scorer for this team. Her shot is fantastic. It's smooth. She's a freshman. Yep. She was 0 for 10, as you mentioned, against Duke in their loss in their last game. Tony Morgan scores. 
Bustamante had 30 in a game against Florida earlier this year. She can put some points up. First bucket for Renai. Now guarded by Usby. This kid just can't get a break. Demarski's on her, then Usby, who got the block. Alyssa, coast to coast, with her offhand. Deja Kelly in double figures, now with 10. Dunn backs up to get room over Usby. Got some separation and was able to knock it down. Usby knocked out by Morgan and now Dunn got fouled and will head. Saturday men's basketball and finally Duke hosting Pittsburgh. Great afternoon of men's college basketball coming up on the ACC. Those shots knocked down by Dunn. Boy, Kelly's feeling it. She doesn't have to force anything. She's just taking what the defense gives her, and she's playing really well tonight. Yeah, great news for North Carolina fans. Deja coming off a season-high 27 against Virginia. Donarski saw a little bit of daylight. Usby. Navarre, a little bit of a hesitation. Kelly running the show. Shot clock winding down. On the season. Must be sort of the renaissance. Like a 35 yard field goal. Whoa. Yeah, she's a pianist. Bar with that pass inside. Bustinate with the miss. Contact on the done follow. Stephanie was a player at the University of Georgia and is a basketball coach. Kelly's going to try to do it herself in the block by Dunn. Yeah, I need to see the replay too. Uh, good crossover by Kelly to get past Augusta Naite. The contact is maybe there. Who'd they call him? Fouls on Dunn for sure? Yeah. Mm. Um, maybe with the body because that was a clean block up top, that's for sure. But that's that's a couple of iffy ones called on Dunn here in the waning seconds of the third quarter. <laughs> Kelly delivered at the line. <laughs> North Carolina takes an eight, put, eight point lead into the fourth quarter. And the recently retired Jasmine Thomas. Yes. Announcing your retirement today after a great 13-year WNBA career. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. But, yep, announced it on social Done. media today. I was very busy before the game. Emotional. I have not yeah. looked at my phone during this game because of that. <laughs> Jasmine, who was so great at Duke, and you played 11 of those 13 years overseas as well. It's yep. a lot of ball. Yeah, and that's why I like seeing foreign players like Georgia Tech has a roster full of players from other countries that love to come over here and, and play basketball on this level. And getting a Georgia Tech degree also is pretty nice. A lot of them in like the engineering fields. Shot off the mark by Moreto. Now Usby, she likes driving down the left side of that lane. First triple-double in the history of women's college basketball against a ranked opponent. 15 Usby's triple-double this year, the first ever. And they've only had two on the men's side. Nice finish. Um, they can keep you out for some time, but it's good to see her back out on the court. Yeah, that's great news. She's so important to them as their point guard. Carolina on an 11-3 run that extends back. Taking four shots. She's averaging 12.5 points per game. Played a few games at Alabama. Even though she's a junior, really didn't play much at all in her freshman year. Maybe a little bit easier. Now, we did talk a little bit about the adjustment of those transfers from the portal. So, you know, uh, Coach Benkart talked about Donarski, talked about Navarre having to adjust coming out of the portal. So that's part of it as well. And that's what she was saying. As good as those players are, Donarski, we all remember from Iowa State and 
Navarre, she said she almost had to deprogram them from what they had learned and all of the sort of the more structured play at their old schools. Yeah, and everybody comes from a system at every school. Apex, North Carolina, so came home after a year at Stanford. It was a McDonald's All-American. Kelly has the ball in her hands a lot. And this is something we were talking about earlier today off air. Where have all the true point guards gone? I mean, they're there somewhere. <laughs> a lot of them are already with great programs, and they are comfortable in those systems. And I also think it's just players wanting to, to score. It's a lot of responsibility to take a lot of tough love from the coach because you are the extension of them on the floor so it's a tough position to play yeah and it, you really see it we see a lot of teams that don't have a so-called true point guard morgan she never looks sped up to me she mm. plays with such a good steady pace and it's just a subtle change of speed right there that just gets her to the rim for easy layup morgan with 12 after only six against duke now she has another one she's Doing some good things tonight. Yeah, 10 points is a new season high for her. Her career high is 13 that she had last year. Key missing the first 10 games with injury this season. Blackshear. And just five shots tonight for Blackshear, who averages 12 and a half points per game. Under that tonight. <laughs> that was fast. Well, it worked out. Yeah. Deja Kelly just picked up her third personal foul. There's the shot. Try to come away with a win. They came back from 10 down in the first half. Then they get another comeback. Tony Morgan. Yeah, Kelly has really slowed things down the last few possessions. Dunn. Oh, boy. They called Dunn for the foul. Well, Kelly was... I don't like that call at all. I really do not. It's a bad call. Yeah. I mean, you saw that she had her arm up, but there was no contact on that. And that's what they called it was on that second piece of contact. And it came because Kelly yeah, she lifted wasn't, her arm. She had an arm bar on her, but she wasn't displacing her at all. And I believe that's a legal guarding move. I, I don't like that call, especially not on a key player at this crucial time in the game. Now Deja Kelly heading to the free throw line because one second after that done call, there was a personal foul on Morgan. Her second. Deja's hit all three of her free throws tonight, coming in just 62% on the season, but gets to the line the most of any player in the ACC. 15th in the nation in overall free throw attempts coming in. And she's hit the 20 point mark for the sixth time this season. There's a buried shot. Morgan trying to take it away from Kelly. Contact and a foul on Tony Morgan. Just puts her body in front of her. Kelly gets one out of two. Morgan guarded by Usby. Great help by Renaya Kelly. Morgan able to get it back. Thrown into traffic. Morgan inbounds it. Let it go. Let it go. Dunn had to run it down. That took some seconds off. Gustinaite, wide right. Rebound, Deja Kelly. Kelly looking over at head coach Courtney Banghart to get some instruction as we hit a minute to go in the fourth quarter. Morgan with the defense. Renaya Kelly in and out. Big offensive rebound by Navarre. She's had a couple of those here in this fourth quarter, and that is a huge offensive rebound. Absolutely. Navarre's fifth rebound of the night. Morgan trying to tell Noero to foul. Lucinaite, the freshman with the inbound. 
Morgan. Ball thrown up and it goes in. By Augustinite. And they absolutely went for the three. What? That's a special freshman right there to be in a shooting slump somewhat and come out and hit a big three with 29 seconds left and get an and one. Yeah, so much confidence for the freshman and the foul called on Renaya Kelly, so the chance for the four-point play. Got it. Wow. Renaya Kelly with the inbound, gets it to Donarski. No foul. And Donarski lost it out of bounds. Georgia Tech is really executing late game situations very well right now. And a timeout taken. Termas has hit three threes tonight. There she is, number 20 on the bench. Morgan, you called it, Jazz. And she traveled. The hesitation, perhaps, waiting for contact. That can happen this fourth quarter. She gets loose. Oh, she steps on a foot, I think, a little bit. Yes. And that's what caused the travel. Now, one foot was on a sneaker. Mm. Yeah, kind of hyperextends that left leg, too. And you know, when you've... When you've already had an injury, you rolled an ankle already, and you feel something happening to that other one, you kind of just want to protect yourself. You stepped on Usby's foot. And when Usby moved her foot, Morgan's foot moved with her. Kelly delivered at the line. Georgia Tech has to go quick. 23 points for Deja Kelly. Three buried by Naredo. Knock that one down. And now it's a two-point ball game, and Deja Kelly goes right back to the line where she just hit two of them. Deja Kelly doing a good job at staying poised. Just knocking these free throws down here late in this game. Wow. Again, just 62% on the season from the line coming in. Hit her last four, her last two trips. New season high, 10 points for her, along with five rebounds. Morgan misses. Not one of them. Kelly, they get it into her right away, and a timeout is taken by North Carolina. Which is Navarre inbounds it. Kelly has been the designated receiver. Eight of ten from the line, well over her season average. And this is a terrific three-game stretch for Deja. She had 23 at Notre Dame and 27 at Virginia in their last game, a new season high. And she's got 26 tonight. North Carolina able to hold off Georgia Tech, who went on some big-time runs to make it close, but they hit at the free throw.